Alright, welcome back sa ating channel and today pag-uusapan natin is all about pointer. Basically, ano nga ba yung pointer? So, pointer, uh, it's like, it's an address, right? Ganun lang yun. Ang pointer is, ang, uh, is address. So, paano siya naging address? Let's say we have this our memory. And then, each partition in the memory have its own address. So, let's put in this example, 0x0010, 1213, magkakasunod yan. And then, itong address na to, dito niya hinahold yung mga data na kailangan natin. Like for example, dito sa program natin, we have done int age equals 20. For example, yung age variable is nakastore siya sa isa dito sa mga memory. For example, age. And then alaman niya is 20. Alright? So, what a pointer is, it holds the address of the variable or, or another variable. So, if to create a pointer in C++, we have to first uh, declare the data type ng variable na gusto natin kuhain yung address. Alright? So, let's for example, we have to access the age. Yung, yung address niya. Like, so, all we have to type is asterisk star and then the name of the variable and then equals the address. So, we have gonna use the this symbol ampersand or end and then the Variable na gusto natin kuhain yung address. So, if you print or see out this pointer, run. So, all we're gonna get is this weird hexadecimal value. Alright? So, ganyan yung pagkuha ng address. So, yan na itinatawag na. This variable is what we call a pointer. Pointer. So, pag may nakita kayong ganito, ibig sabihin yan, this is a pointer. So, ang, ang, ang laman niyan is hindi data, kundi address of another variable. So, so here, our pointer is this one. So, ang laman na ito ay this one. Ito. So, ganun, ganun na siya kadali, ganun na siya kasimple. So, ano naman kapag gusto natin baguhin yung value ng age without accessing the age? So, like for example, we want to make the age 21. We can, we can manipulate this age in the memory without accessing its variable. But, we have to access the pointer. But before that, we, we have what we call the reference. The reference. Meaning, the pointer is a reference, right? So, ang reference, nara reference niya yung location ng age. And then, what the reference means is pumupunta siya or, or put it sa example. Like for, for example, PTR, it's a pointer. Na-declare na, -declare na siya dito. Na-declare na siya dito. Kaya alam na na compiler, it's a pointer. So, if we, if we had to access this and equal to a data, let's say 21, so, mag error to. So, mag error to, guys. Pag nira natin yan, so, meron siyang error. Ibig sabihin lang yan, Alam, pointer ito, bakit mo siya nilagyan ng data type? So, dapat ang laman lang niya is address ng variable. So, but we can solve this in just adding asterisk in the point, in the, uh, before the, var before the pointer. Ang ginagawa niya is dinidereference din niya yung laman niya na address. So, ang laman niya na address is age, and then gagawin niya, i-access niya yung actual age, which is ito. So, if we, run, if, we, if we print the age, so, makita nyo, magbabago na yung age. Magiging 21 na. So, ayan, naging 21 na yung age natin. Kahit hindi natin uh, binago yung actual age. So, it's the same. Then, 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 reference lang natin siya. So, again, pointer holds, or in, ang laman niya is address sa memory. Alright? So, sana malinaw yan. Ganun lang siya kasimple, guys. Pwede rin tayo maglagay ng, uh, ng string. Let's say string name equals equals kilua. Right? And then, gagawa tayo ng pointer kay kilua. So, pointer kilua. And, kalimutan natin. Huwag natin kalimutan yung ibig sabihin ang i-hold na ito is address. And, the ampersand or the address operator and then the name. 
So if if you act, if you see, if you will print the PTR kilua, so ibibigay niya yung address kung saan nakatira si kilua. So nakatira siya sa, sa dito sa OX 61 FE 8 something niyan. And then if you want to print the value of this, yung value nito is pointer which is yung pointer. Pero pag dinereference natin siya, ibibigay niya yung value ng pinapoint niya. So, if we run this, we will have kilua. As you can see here, meron tayong kilua. And then, pwede natin ulit siyang baguhin. PTR, and the reference, and then PTR kilua. And then, equals natin siya. And gone. And, pag, so, manipulate na natin yung data sa ating memory. So, nakuha natin is si gone. So, ang nangyari dito, we have the, we have the variable name and equals kilua then it it is stored somewhere in the memory let's say here name equals kilua and then uh, gumawa tayo ng pointer which is yung pointer kilua and then hinold na yung address na itong name so ito yung hinold niya and then ang ginawa natin is in access natin yung then reference natin yung PTR. So, PTR K equals yung new value. Meaning, yung hinahold na ito, which is ito, papalitan natin ng gone. Gone. And now, kapag, kapag sinyout na natin siya, ibibigay niya na easy gone. So, ganun na siya kadali, guys. So, sana naintindihan niyo. Recap pointer is a variable that holds the address of another variable. Tagalog, pointer is tinuturo niya yung lokasyon ng isa pang variable sa memory. Alright? It's like, it's like a city. Or, uh, yeah, it's like a city. Like, this is a city. And then, merong mga building bahay dito. And then, merong mga daanan. Ayan. And then, may mga bahay. So, this is the memory, and bawat bahay dito is meron siyang address. And if you want to, halimbawa, meron tayong papadala, or nagpalazada tayo. So, ito, alam niya yung value ng product, but hindi niya alam kung saan na ilolocate. That's why kailangan niya ng address. So, kaya niya nang ipdali yung product dun sa address. So, it's like the same in the memory, guys. Ganun, ganun na siya katas kasimple. Sana na intindihan nyo and huwag nyo kalimutan mag-subscribe if nagustuhan yung video natin. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye!